Back when I did the crop farming guide, I said that I'd also make a cooking guide too. So here it is. Now if you want to start cooking, you have to go to the tavern and go to the kitchen over here. And this guy will teach you how to cook. And it will also give you new recipes every 10 levels all the way up to 160. And the recipes he gives you is for health and energy food alternating every 10 levels. And this person will give you daily quests to cook exquisite food. And you'll get a cooking bag in return for doing it. And that's the only way of getting cooking fashion tokens. You can't actually get them from cooking itself. Now to actually cook, you can go run to any oven in the room. Or the lesser known thing is you can go to I have some questions and show me where to cook on any chef. But you don't want to cook in here. Instead, you want to go out here and talk to this guy because he offers repeatable quests and you might as well cook closer to the guy that gives you XP, right? So let's actually look at cooking now. You see your characters over here, your cooking level, and all of the recipes you've learned. And I'll also show you what you need to make each thing. And favorited items will be on top. You can favorite something by hitting this button. And then the next time you go into cooking, it'll be on top too. So, when you click on an item, you'll see the info on what a normal item would be, how much of an ingredient you need, the option to add an extract, and the difficulty slider. So the difficulty slider, it could be easy, medium, or hard to cook stuff. And it will basically tell you what your burn chance is, how fast you cook the item, and if it could be perfected or not. So, easy stuff has never burned for me. I don't think it's possible. But, if you do something that's hard, there's a very good chance you'll burn it. So I'll try it right here. Chances are it's going to burn. We'll see. Yep. And when an item burns, then it's just worthless. Well, you can sell the burnt fruitcake to a vendor for one gold or any burnt food. But optimally, you don't want to do it because you don't get XP for it either. But extracts will make it so every food is easy. And it'll make easy foods easier too. So you can never burn food with an extract and also doubles the chance of something being exquisite. Now once something is exquisite has 50% better stats and certain recipes require exquisite food to make. There's also perfected food. Perfected food gives you 100% better stats, but it's even rarer than exquisite and from experience it only works on things that are already easy without the extract, so it'll be super easy with it. Also, easier food is quicker to cook. Like, watch how much faster this is. See, boom, done. And that is exquisite. So some other things we could talk about. What do the two cooking abilities mean? There's proficiency and mastery. Proficiency affects the difficulty slider. The higher your proficiency is, the easier everything is. To a point. High level food will likely need a lot of proficiency to make easy. I notice the only perfected food possible is from already easy food. You're going to want to max this if you can. Mastery is the rate of getting exquisites or perfects. So, good stuff. If you want to farm proficiency, just cook a bunch of low-level food without extracts, and if you want to level mastery, cook a bunch of low-level food with extracts, because it'll make it more likely to get exquisite or non-exquisite, whatever you need. Now, this person over here will sell recipes and also extracts. The extracts are different for each tier. Like the worst food will need garnet and the best will need crystal. And everything in between. 
So the recipes this person sells, basically rare stuff. Because a bar of breath needs exquisite fruitcake and yada yada. But it's all good stuff. It's just hard to make. And we go out here, we find some other cooking related people. I'll show you some more vendors. They're pretty close by for the most part. Two people on the docks. We'll go to this vendor first. So they carry various things. Ginger, sugar, raisins, honey, dried fruit. But they also have holiday spices, which is for seasonal recipes. Now seasonal recipes aren't obtainable anymore. You can only buy them last year. But they're pretty good. There's only four so far. But it's nice to have them, nice to make them. If they do make more seasonal recipes, be sure to stock up on the books. Get a lot of money later, probably. Or just use them for alts. Another thing, cooking and fishing are related to each other. Sometimes you might need spices, like Barabrith needs saffron, and you get that from the sewer fishing guy. Just keep it in mind if you're looking everywhere, tearing your hair out for spices, that the fishing guys have them. And the fishing guys also sell cooking versions of their fish recipes. Except for the fishing power recipe, they don't have that, but they have everything else. And it'll only use one fish as opposed to three. It'll have better stats, but it has a level requirement on it as opposed to the other version. So just keep that in mind. Nice to have, especially if you're dueling cooking and fishing. You might as well save up the fish and cook them for XP twice. Now another person we need is all the way over here. I'm going to fly here just to show you. I could just show you on the map, but this terrain's a little bit sketchy to get by, so I think this will be better. So you just fly up through this bandit camp. Past all these enemies. Past these barricades. And the person you want is over here. They have like a little mini farm. And you just go up and talk to them. Now there's also some ingredients that aren't shop buyable. Like berries, meat. You get meat from just killing animals. Each animal drops their own type, and it's not a 100% chance to drop. It's about a 50-50 from experience. You see, I killed one, got one, and killed another one, and didn't get anything. I'll show you a nice spot for farming real quick, because it's pretty close by. So we just get down from here, and go over to High Shore Village. Oh yeah, rabbits. Get rabbit meat from them. It helps that they don't have any health. More rabbits. And just right down here is what we need. You got two random spawns here. Sometimes it could be two cows. Sometimes there's a sheep. But there's just a ton of animals by this herder. You just go around hitting everything. And you'll likely get a lot of stuff that you need for recipes and whatnot. And it's pretty quick just to blaze through them. And there's other spots, but this is just the most effective one. And the last ingredient place we need is in the castle. It's pretty close by too. 
So you just talk to them. Got a bunch of vegetables. You can find some of the vegetables at the stone circle too, but it's just way easier to buy them instead. There's one more thing we didn't talk about. There's also ingredients and recipes from the tower. And there's high level enemies. I would say mini bosses probably. And they drop rare ingredients. I'm not sure about the recipes themselves because I never got one. But I know they exist. But the recipes are very strong like Flame Mignon is crush damage and strength. Probably pretty hard to make. Anyway, that's about all I know about cooking. And I think it explains everything you would need to know ever. If you want me to do any other guides, just let me know. I'll probably work on fishing next. Unless you want me to do something else. Then I could do that too. Well, bye.